Hi Haley, it's Kiki. These are some of the suggestions that I have for you, some books I thought you'd like. If you have any questions or if you want to see something else, please just let me know. This book that I want to show you is called One, Two, Three Counting, and this is a great book for tummy time for young babies. It folds out like this, and it has numbers 1 through 10. You can flip it over on the other side, just like that. And this is a great book for young babies because it has the black and the white contrast for them to look at and to be able to notice the pictures. But then it also has the pop of color and it can grow with your child. So for example, I currently have a young baby and a two and a half year old. So while my young baby's in tummy time, I'll spread this out and then work with my two and a half year old on his numbers and counting. And so this is just a great book for all ages. It can grow with your child. This one, two, three counting book is fabulous. This book that I want to show you is our baby's very first black and white set books. These books come in a set of four that you can buy either in a cushion cover, really nice um, board book, or you can buy it in a set where it's just a simple board book as well. Um, the great thing about this book is this is great for young babies because it has the black and the white contrast and then each page also has a pop of color. So I'll just kind of flip through one of these here for you. So the black and white contrast really helps stimulate the baby's vision so that they can see what is actually on the page and see the images. So not only can they look at the image, but they can see the design with the pop of color on the back that is behind the image. So I'll just leave through this last one. And then as they get older, you can use it to talk about the images, what's on the page as well. So this is our baby's very first black and white books. This book that I want to show you is baby's very first noisy book farm and this is such a cute first noisy book. So on the spread it's a nice big spread, beautiful colors, it is a board book so it's great quality which is so important for those young babies. And then up here as you can see it has these great tabs that teach your child how to turn pages. And then it's a noisy book. So I'm gonna go ahead and play some of the noises for you. Totally not annoying, right? It's not one of those noisy books that you just wanna throw against the wall. So you can talk about what the different things are and what noise that they make. So again, this is baby's very first noisy book, Farm. This book that I want to show you is the Usborne Very First 1, 2, 3 book, and this is a beginning counting book, and it's really cute. I love how the number is really big in the right-hand corner, or really big on the page. It's not necessarily always in the right-hand corner, but it's a really cute, um, big number. And then there's one house, and then two cars, and you see how it takes over the whole page. I love that. It's very engaging for the child. Three boats, and three is so big. There's four kittens five balloons, and that's it for this page. So this is just a beginning number book, just one through five, teaches them um, what the numbers are to help recognize them. So again, this is Usborne's very first one, two, three. This book that I wanna show you is our baby's very first touchy-feely Lift the Flat playbook. And this book is so awesome. It has finger trails on every page. It has little squashy sensory activities on every page. It has peek throughs, it has flaps. This is a fabulous beginning book for um, older babies to young toddlers. So this here right here is called a finger trail and that teaches babies just how to follow their finger to find things. So they follow the finger and oh, they found a flap. There's some more flaps. There's sensory activities on each page. It's bright and colorful. There's um, fuzzy, here's a fuzzy bird, fuzzy sun. It fills the whole page. This is just a great book for young, um, young toddlers and older babies. And there's peek throughs here. Just kind of flip through. The important thing to note about this um, book, the baby's very first, all these sensory books, is there isn't actually a story. It's just the whole point of this book is to teach them and to explore books and to learn to love them and that they're fun to read. I mean, look at these. They're gorgeous. So if you like these, um, these books, we also have Baby's Very First Touchy Feely, Baby's Very First Farm, 
words, um, baby's very first finger trails. There's a bunch of these. So you can um, go online and see which other ones we have as well. This book that I want to show you is That's Not My Monkey. It's part of our That's Not My series. And this is such a great series for young babies, young toddlers, um, all the way up to older toddlers, I would say. This is a great book because on every page there is a sensory activity that matches an adjective and then there's this cute little mouse that you can find on each page. So I'll just go ahead and flip through this book for you. It says, that's not my monkey, its tail is too velvety. And there's the little mouse. That's not my monkey, its feet are too smooth. There's the mouse. That's not my monkey, its eyebrows are too hairy. And there's the mouse. That's not my monkey, its tongue is too fuzzy. And then finally at the end, that's my monkey, its tummy is so fluffy. So this is a great board book, and the That's Not My series is one of Usborne's most popular young baby series. If you do like this book, but you're not necessarily into monkeys, there is so many That's Not My books. You can just look on our website and see what else we have. We have That's Not My Princess, That's Not My Dinosaur, That's Not My Cat. We have so many of them. So go ahead and look on the website if you are interested in these for other titles. This book that I want to show you is the Usborne Fairy Tales for Bedtime. It's a beautiful hardcover book with cloth binding and a ribbon marker. There's 11 classic fairy tales in this book surrounded by beautiful illustrations. I love how at the first page of each story there's a gorgeous silhouette of the main character and then you have the title, a very pretty picture, and a small little blurb of text. This one says, Cinderella, picture the glass slipper, once upon a time there was a beautiful young girl named Ella, but everyone called her Cinderella. And then the next pages have not as many illustrations, but your children can lay down and listen to you read. Put the marker in when you're done with the story, and again, you start over a nice silhouette of the main character, title, picture, short little blurb, they lay down in their beds and you begin to read. This is a fabulous book to keep in your basket of read aloud books. These fairy tales are classic and engaging. Your children will love them. Again, this is the Usborne Fairy Tales for Bedtime. This book that I want to show you is one of our Peek Inside books. Our Peek Inside series is our very first beginner's nonfiction, and it is a board book as well as a flat book. I'll just show you this one. This one's Peek Inside Dinosaurs. So it has just information on the page about dinosaurs long ago before there were any people, all kinds of dinosaurs around the world, and then there's all these cute flaps here, bright, beautiful colors. There's small chunks of information so that your child doesn't get overwhelmed. Just a little bit for those young learners, just to give them just a very, very brief inter introduction to dinosaurs and what they are, and just some information behind them with some adorable flaps on each page. Lift this up so you can see it a little bit better. Just very good for all different types of learners. Lots of cute images fun flaps, small chunks of information, and just beautiful pictures. Again, this is our one of our Peek Inside books, and this is Peek Inside Dinosaurs. This book that I'm going to show you is Animal Hide and Seek, and this book goes along with the Farmyard Tales stories, and I'm going to show you why in just a second. So this is a sensory book as well as like a spot and find book. So it's kind of like um, the Where Spot books, if you're similar to those, except they just have more sensory added in. So there's only one cow in the barn. Where is Daisy? She's hiding, and then Daisy is one of the characters in the Farmyard Tales books as well. So, and there's Rusty, and he's fuzzy there. There's only two pigs in the pig pen. Where is Curly? He's hiding. More sensory in there. This is a great quality board book. My son adores this book. We read this book pretty much every day. I love this book so much. Um, there are only three sheep in the field. Where's Wooly? She's hiding. The flaps are great quality. The pictures are just super engaging and there's more sensory items on each page. And then again, there's um, Poppy and Sam from the Farmyard Tales. And this is, again, Animal Hide and Seek. This book that I want to show you is called Panda in the Park. This is one of our look-through books for um, babies. And so as you can see, you can see through. So Panda is playing hide and seek. Who's hiding in there? You can peek through right there. 
I can see you, giraffe, who's hiding down there, and you can peek through again. We can see you, tiger, who's hiding up there. We can see you, elephant, who's hiding through there. We can see you, snake, shall we play again? It's just a really cute board book, look through book. Again, this is Panda in the Park. Thanks for watching, Haley. Again, if you have any questions or if you want to see something else, please just let me know.